Everybody be Kobiano We doing this yo Over there tell you go no oh oh We getting down everybody be Kobiano We doing this yo Over there tell you go Forget swagger, I get a nyanga, the nyanga in the battle of Musanga. Haha, <laughs> you know now nah, it's my call one day in the manana my eyeball and ball. Abia. Yes, my name is Mr. Raw and you're Abia. in my world on artist zone. Take, take, uh. Forget swagger, I get in yanga, in yanga in the battle of Musanga. Haha, <laughs> you know now nah, it's my call one day in the manana my eyeball, eyeball. Actually. Maybe took a little break to like do a lot of things and try to, you know. I experimented on a lot of things, did some other businesses, traveled out, like still doing shows based on the songs I've already released before. Because um, this one is my fourth album. And yeah, business is not bad, but I just like went on vacation and I'm back with a new album and a movie, a couple of videos actually. So fast city boy, I'm a cool city boy With my Ibo rapper, they give us giddy joy I have a new video that I am promoting and it's titled Forget Swagger And it's directed by Michael Williams It was shot somewhere in Vega, somewhere in Lagos State And um, in a warehouse somewhere in Vega, in Lagos State I had fun shooting that video, I don't know But I think I got a lot of support and something different from what I was used to Because they had to like script everything and make it like um, I really have to play according to what I'm seeing in the script. And it came out, it was very tasking, but it was worth it. I had fun shooting and doing everything. And it came out where a lot of people actually liked the video, they're enjoying it. Yeah, um, I am from Abia State. Mr. Roy is from Abia State. But um, I was born and raised in Enugu State. So, like, my growing up and everything I know today, I learned it in Enugu State. Then, that's why in most of my songs are still here talking about Enugu State, O42, the code, and still talk about Abia. Which is where I'm from naturally. Yeah, I'm from Oko Kitchen in Bend, the local government area of Abia State. Hakuna Matata, Meji, one net, Mbosenta Ayatono, Wirinchi. I will say music has been rewarding so far because um, sometimes you look at the smiles your music put on people's faces and you'll be wondering why is it just the music that is making these people this happy. And I get mails and calls and of course the financial rewards too. So I thank God that musically I've been able to do well for myself and a lot of you know young people are actually self-employed and they are doing great things for themselves too. So I can say authoritatively that it's been rewarding and it's been good. Hey, you know Sabi how I the take flow will be say anytime where I get show people they show or your fire one nap. I don't really need to answer this because all my albums, all I do is do the Igbo thing and try to bring up some names that nobody knows. So it's not really about doing the Igbo collaboration thing. Music is spiritual. What you feel, you do. In whichever language you feel like expressing yourself, you go ahead and do it. So I don't really think I need to answer this. It won't look like it's more, more of an Igbo Igbo thing. There are people that still, I have lots of songs that are not in Igbo my car and my playlist and I enjoy them so I think it's about the way the artist in question feels like expressing himself hey, hold on. in case you're just joining us right now this is my world on Artizone sit back tight and we're gonna have fun yes. I want to rule my destiny. Let me talk about the challenges I faced. Um, I, I can't really remember all of them, 
But I know there are, there were these issues of um, you have songs to promote, you have to travel to almost different parts of this country to make sure they get hold of the song. But now it's different because on the internet you can actually download any song you want the same second the person is uploading it. So it makes it easier that somebody in Spain, in Abuja, Port Harcourt, Calabar, Enugu, they can pick your song immediately. The artists that, that got their breakthrough years back, many years ago, didn't get to like utilize that opportunity because you have to like print the promo CD. Sometimes you have a good song, you don't have money to print the promo CDs, especially when you don't have a sponsor or a record label that signed to the, uh, you as an artist. But imagine you printing like thousands of copies of the promo CDs, then you have to now make plans of how to travel to different cities in the country to make sure radio station gets hold of your material and stuff. So I feel a lot of people felt that challenge big time and I thank God this thing is like it's, it's a continuous thing and now we've seen different um, stages in this music industry now it's like the download thing. A lot of people can actually use their mobile phone when they are in the car, at home, in schools and they are on the move, they are downloading songs and things are happening. It wasn't like that before. And I think it's something that the people that actually enjoy music right now are enjoying. Then the issue of piracy too. Um, I can't I can't really say if, if the piracy thing is better now. Because now it's like even when you drop an album, that's one of the challenges I feel. Some people are feeling right now. You drop a full album, someone will buy the album and get the download links, go to the computer, create download links and push it on the net. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but the artist will sit back and all the songs, there are download links to all the songs on the internet. So there will be no need for you to go buy the album. So I think we are on the internet age right now, so maybe a lot of artists will push their energy towards, because many of them are doing that right now. They push their energy towards the internet angle and push their songs, drop one single, drop a video and push it. And it will still be popular more than some people's album. So I think we like try to balance good ends, whatever, whatever problem you experience, encounter on your way to where you're going to, you look for a way to like manage and solve it. I put you, if I did rap, you feel the dance afro juju, you know me like a problem, me no fit tired. Original, why, no fire, no fire. The first album, I released it um, under my own record label. Later, uh, I tried some other things and even right now, even my latest album is still under my record label. So, I am running my thing myself, trying to like get to the next stage and help people I believe are hoping that someone is going to give them like a helping hand. So I'm trying to do what I can for a lot of people out there in the hills that are looking up to me. That is why some people catch you when there's a mess. The name of my record label is Raw Deal Entertainment. Who goes there on edge? It's a quiet Google Raf. I'm okay. Um, um, my last album was last year, November, and um, it's titled The Greatest. And The Greatest, the song itself, I featured to face. And I had um, other people that actually featured on the album, like Bone Snacks, Low Dog, they are all based in the East. My younger brother, High MC, Ransom, and Josh, Bone Snack. And the album is doing incredibly well. And I shot like two videos. One is Asanwa, and the latest I shot is um, Forget Swagger. And the next video I'm hoping to shoot is The Greatest featuring Two Face. Ladies and gents, I get the boutique ascent. Say 90% thinks I am God sent. I speak three languages. I speak English language. I speak pidgin English language and I speak Yubo language. Mr. Raw. So make you no go anywhere. I'm going to enjoy the show. They one want one doubt on how you go offend me. Like seriously, if not be God send me. Tell me who. Tell me who. I've been a human. I have favorite food, you know. I'm an Igbo man, I like all those swallow things and masala soup, juro, and ganisha, my granja, and I say it in blue. You will be like animal, wait before you, so watch your mouth, get back to say, okay, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm a football fan, not a freak, but I love shooting pool, which a lot of people call snooker. I relax a lot shooting that. 
then I play games too, but I'm not really into the football thing because sometimes it takes your mind off what they're supposed to do. I see my friends, they react and I be like, what is these people wearing the vex for? Now nah, I say they lose match. Now nah, they are shocked, they, they, they are just getting paid, even as they lost the match. I hear vexing, you know, go where you want to go, you know? So I, I, I love sports. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm to give appreciation, number one will be God Almighty, second my parents for giving birth to me, and third my siblings for being my siblings, then my friends, family, everybody, because whatever I am today, people make me, these people that buy the album, people that talk about me, make people like play it on air and all that stuff, so I owe all the appreciation to them. I wrote my first song, my first ever song in 1992 and I started like working on it and kept on getting better and better to like go to where I am today. Then if I am to give an advice to the upcoming artists out there, yes, even your friends that you started before them might make it before you, it doesn't really matter. All that matters is your determination to get to your destination, movement is improvement, if you keep doing what you're doing, one day definitely going to shine. It doesn't matter who shines before you. So all you keep to, all you, all you really need to do is keep doing what you're doing, you're your own star, rise and keep moving. Nobody moves forward while looking backwards. Okay, yes, my name is still Mr. Raw. And I want to say a very big thank you for chilling with me on my world on Artisan. But this is still my world. But thank you for listening. And thank you. Uh -huh. and I'm a black back and then we need everybody now support the high level that this guy might for a go and go to make a good future. And it simply means I'm saying thank you to everybody that's been supporting what we're doing in this industry. Musically. God bless you all. Thank you. Abu Mafia Nazu, one of the rappers Nigerians gonna zo. Punchlines and metaphors, nada um um. Big car motorcycle or bar tum tum. Uh huh. Oh watch it, naka guy sana piaka asif na papa habu one ne fadambaka. I no go ever rap like a foreigner, so onyo bona chore na kuno chore na. Because some wa fo um dim diaba awago me gum ne me hanaro pole na pole na. Forget swaga, me a getting younger. Swagger, me a getting younger.